Hello, my name is Randy Nguyen, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to composite anything you guys want into the sky using Adobe After Effects. So right now, up on the screen and in the descriptions of the video, you're going to see some time codes set to specific parts of the video. So if you guys want to go ahead and skip to the actual tutorial or really any part of the tutorial, you're more than welcome to. So a while back, my partner Dina and I decided to do some dumb short, and we needed a Death Star in the sky. It's a really simple effect to pull off, and I thought it would be cool to show you guys how to do it. Also, if you guys haven't seen this short, please do so now because it will really help us a lot. You know, one view really counts. Uh, let me start by importing our footage. Um, I'm going to be using some footage that we actually used in the short. Not the specific parts where the Death Star was, but just any part, just because it's, uh, it's available. And if you guys want to download this footage to practice on your own you're more than welcome to I'm going to put up the download in the description and you know practice so I'm going to start off with something easy I'm going to use a static shot so let me trim oops let me shut this up let me trim mm, I'm going to trim it to right here Sure, we need like what 15 seconds here so now that we have the footage in I'm gonna go ahead and pick something that I want to composite in and in this case I'm gonna be compositing a Death Star this one uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in and there you go it's on the screen first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of all the stars back here because I don't really want that I just want the actual Death Star so I'm gonna go ahead and get my pen tool mm, maybe I can get a yeah I'll use my pen tool I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and just start cutting away. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate the Roto Bezier. It's just going to make my cuts a little rounder just to fit the contours of the Death Star. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll just see you guys when I'm done. Now let me mention that uh, it doesn't have to be clean just because, oh, I guess the pens. Uh, it doesn't have to be a clean cut. You can see I have like some some of the, the space showing. It doesn't have to be clean because I know it's going to be super far up into the sky. I mean, unless I'm screening it on a 40-foot screen in a theater, I think I should be fine. Because in most cases, all my stuff is going on YouTube. So a rough uh, cut will do us just fine. So now that uh, it's cut up, I'm going to go ahead and position it where I want it. Okay, so now that you've got a position where you want it, you're going to want to go ahead and bring down the opacity. And the reason we do this is because um, because this is in space, we're seeing it through the atmosphere. So the lower we bring down the opacity, the more it blends in with the sky. So if we were seeing this from Earth, and the Death Star was actually here, the light bouncing from the sun, or whatever is emitting this light, would bounce towards the earth, through all the atmosphere, and back into our eyes. And because there's a thick atmosphere, it's going to diffuse the image a little bit, and it's going to make it less contrast here. And the same thing applies for things in farther distance. The farther away it is, as you can see over here in the mountains, it's going to be less contrast here because it has a lot of atmosphere to travel. The light has a lot more at atmosphere to travel through. Now we're almost done. It's it's kind of looking good, except we have some overlaying going on here in the clouds. Now to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our original footage, and I'm going to go ahead and freeze frame. Oh, actually, let me check if the clouds move. Oh, the clouds move. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring this on top and make a sandwich, and we're going to go ahead and chop out the, the clouds here. Now again, this doesn't have to be clean because uh, it's far away and no one's going to pay attention. Look at that. It's kind of looking good, right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and feather out the mask that we made. Um, there you go. It's looking kind of cool. And I'm going to 
whoops, go ahead and animate the mask path. I'm just going to make it follow the clouds. Whoops. So now, if we take a look at it, it kind of fits in. Sure. All right. Now let's move on to a more challenging shot. Um, this is this shot right here was locked off on a tripod, so there's little to no movement. I mean, there's a little movement from the wind blowing at the camera. But really, it's a static shot locked off on a tripod. So now we're going to move on to something a little tougher. So as you can see, this footage is handheld, and that's going to introduce some problems to our composite. So let me go ahead and trim this up for us. I'm going to start right on the action. Right here. And then... Um, good enough. Uh, trim contour area. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate because we don't wanna you know mess around with our original footage. So now that we duplicated our footage, we're gonna go ahead and analyze our footage. And what I'm doing right now is looking for good points to track in. And it doesn't look like we're going to get something easy. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use the camera tracker but that's built into After Effects. Go ahead and start that up. It's right here in our tracker. And we're going to let this go for uh, maybe like 30 seconds or two. Okay, now that the tracker's done tracking and solving, we're going to go ahead and pick a point that's far back into the distance. Just because the Death Star is going to be far back. And if we choose anything up close, it's going to introduce some parallax. And it's not going to look its not gonna look right. It's going to look as if the Death Star is right in front of them. So we're going to go ahead and create, right click and create a solid in camera. And we're going to go ahead and scale up the solid. I'm going to move it up. So far back. I'll just grab it. Okay. We're going to hit play. And there you go. That's fairly a good track. You know, that'll do for the tutorial, but I'm sure you guys can finesse that on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and control. Hold up. I'm going to go ahead and control V. Put the Death Star in here and go ahead and make it a 3D object. I'm going to go ahead and copy the position of the solid we made earlier. And paste it onto our Death Star. Now our Death Star should be in the exact same location as our solid. So you can see a tiny little cube in there. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this up just because it's, you know, the Death Star is supposed to be big. And let's see how that looks. There you go. It looks pretty cool to me. I think. I don't know about you guys, but that works for me. All right. So now we have like a pretty good track. If you want, you can go ahead and duplicate the clouds and throw them back on here over the Death Star. But, you know, that's a fairly good track, you know. For the amount of time we put into it. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you guys are still watching, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys still haven't checked out this specific shortcut, please do so. Again, you know, one view really helps. And if you guys have any requests, you know, let me know down below and I will attend your request. But if not, thanks for watching and thanks for helping us grow.